Every year, 25,000 people in Britain and 200,000 in America die from deep vein thrombosis. Caused by a slowing of blood flow in the lower limbs, prevention therapies to date have been problematic, either cumbersome to fit or less than wholly effective. Now, a new device offers a simple, non-invasive solution to venous stasis with significant implications for the prevention of DBT in hospitals and the treatment of a range of circulatory disorders. It's called Gecko. The Gecko, powered by OnPulse technology, is a wristwatch-sized device that's simple to use. OnPulse technology works by electronically stimulating the common perineal nerve located behind the knee. This nerve then causes micro-contractions in the muscles of the calf, which, in turn, increases local blood circulation. Completely painless in operation, and with no impediment to the normal movement of the limb, the gecko device is intended to increase local blood circulation and to reduce the risk of venous thrombosis in circumstances where patients are at increased risk. In studies using healthy volunteers stimulating the common perineal nerve, it has been shown that the volume of blood flowing back towards the heart is between 50 and 70% of the volume produced by walking, but without the patient having to move or exert energy. These ultrasonograph clips show the effectiveness of the on-pulse technology in increasing local blood circulation. This first clip shows the blood flow rate within the femoral vein at rest, with no electrical stimulation of the calf. The second clip, with the on-pulse technology switched on, shows the same femoral vein with a greater than two-fold increase in blood flow. The Gecko device is light, weighing just 16 grams. It's easy to fit. The flexible molded strap is self-adhesive and shapes itself easily and comfortably to the patient's leg. And it's simple to set up. Powered by a wristwatch size battery, its software is controlled by a single button. A green flashing LED light indicates if the device is switched on or off, and also indicates which of seven possible stimulation levels has been set. On the underside of the strap, two electrodes deliver the stimulus to the common perineal nerve. These are covered with a water-based conductive hydrogel, which provides secure adhesion to the skin and is painless to remove. A disposable, easy-peel backing film protects the hydrogel before use. The Gecko device is a daily disposable, one-size-fits-all device. It will even fit adults with a very large leg circumference, up to 24 inches. It can be fitted with the patient lying down or standing, and its small geometry assists infection control and may reduce the risk of pressure sores. The Gecko device is easy to fit and can be applied in just 60 seconds. It can be fitted to one or both legs, as prescribed by the physician. Position the patient so that they're comfortable, their lower leg is supported, and you can access the knee area. The knee should be straight and not bent. Before fitting the device, first find the location behind and to the outside of the knee where the device is to be secured, identifying the outer tendon and the center crease at the back of the knee. To open the pack, simply peel the two ends of the foil pouch apart. Inside, you'll find two gecko devices, one grey abrasive skin preparation pad, two skin preparation wipes for cleaning the skin, and full instructions for use. Please read the instructions carefully to familiarise yourself with the components and to check any relevant contraindications and precautions for use. As with any body contact device, there is a small amount of skin prep required before applying the device. Using the grey abrasive pad and without breaking the skin, apply light pressure to exfoliate the area where the gecko device is to be secured. Then wipe the area thoroughly with the alcohol wipe and leave for 30 seconds. This prepares the skin for good electrical contact and ensures good adhesion. With the device switched off, peel off the disposable backing film, 
then position it behind the knee above the crease, with the lower edge of the device very slightly touching the crease, and the control button to the outside of the leg. There is a raised indicator line marked with arrows on the back of the device, which should be aligned with the outer tendon. This will ensure that the electrodes are positioned correctly above and in relation to the common perineal nerve. Once in position, use one short click of the button to activate the gecko device. The LED will flash regularly every one and a half seconds to signal that it is operating correctly and that the lowest level of stimulation is selected. With the patient's foot raised off the ground, there should be a minor visible movement of the calf and a slight outwards movement of the foot. If no movements are detected, remove and reapply the device until the correct level of stimulation is achieved. You may also need to increase the level of stimulation. To advance the setting to a higher level, use one short click of the button. The LED will flash in quick succession to signal the level of stimulation that has been set. Of the seven levels, in most cases, levels three or four are ideal. If the stimulation level needs to be reduced, Hold the button down for between one and two seconds until the LED signals a lower number of sequential flashes. To switch the device off, hold the button down for three seconds when the LED light will stop flashing. Check with the patient at two hourly intervals that they are still comfortable. Check that the indicator light is still flashing according to the stimulation level set and that there is still visible movement of the calf and foot. If there is no slight muscular movement, the power level may need to be increased. If the indicator light is not flashing correctly, try switching off the device and resetting the level. The device will run for one day, nominally up to 30 hours, at which point it will turn off. The gecko should be replaced after 24 hours and the consulting physician will determine for how many days the device is to be used. To remove the device, first hold down the button for three seconds to turn it off, then carefully ease the head end away from the knee and peel the device away from the skin. It can also be removed by gently bathing with water since the hydrogel is water soluble. The small size and shape of the device means that it can easily be disposed of as clinical waste in most hospitals. The Gecko device is a breakthrough in portable electronic stimulation for increasing blood circulation. It repeats the cycle of electronic stimulation every second, significantly more than alternative technologies. A one-size-fits-all device, the Gecko weighs just 16 grams and covers the minimum skin area which may reduce the risk of pressure sores or infection. Quick to fit and completely self-contained, the Gecko device allows patient mobility. The Gecko device is the future for DVT prevention, and it's here now.